It's a big festival and the programs are a way to get to know the, the different uh, films that you can find at the festival. They're arranged partly by the style of filmmaking. Sometimes they're arranged also just by the scale of the filmmaking. The Meisters program basically consists of the great, great filmmakers of cinema. These are filmmakers that are really at the height of their powers and some of the greatest filmmakers I think in the, in the world. It's a mix, a complete mix of the young, curious audience. Uh, I think there's obviously a lot of people of my age who've grown up with these filmmakers who actually do want to see what their recent work is. It's not perfection, but it's as close to perfection you'll probably see in cinema. TIFF Docs is a new name for a section that's been in the festival for a number of years. The section used to be called Real to Real, and this is the place where we put documentaries. The suspense is real, the laughter is real, the tears are real, and that gives documentaries an extra uh, quality that makes it a different cinema-going experience. Cinema is very often re a reflection of what's happening socially in a country, and I think the contemporary world cinema offers that to audiences. You can have comedies as well as, uh, as political films within the, the program, from thrillers to dramas. So that's what makes it quite exciting. City to City program is a spotlight on a world city that's doing really interesting work in cinema right now. We bring 10 films from that city to Toronto. With the City to City program, I think we often find people who want to know what's going on in another part of the world. We find cinephiles who are just interested in following a new development in world cinema. And also sometimes people from that place, they want to see something of their own home uh, country, their own home city, and they come out to those films as a result. Well, for more than 20 years now, we've been presenting the Tiff Tech program as a year-round uh, program. And this is the first year we're going to be bringing it to the festival. We present the best in classic and contemporary world cinema. And uh, this year at the festival, we're going to be focusing on recent restorations of classic titles. Many of the audiences are coming out um, to revisit films, maybe, that they've, they've grown up with and to see them again on the big screen. But in a lot of cases, we're always surprised to see that people are coming out to see these films for the first time. Future Projections is about a decade-old program. We take the idea of cinema, its history and culture, to galleries and museums all around the city. These are installations, performances. I think there's probably an affinity for people who like the visual arts, who go gallery hopping or go to museums on an ongoing basis. These are really accessible pieces and often will reflect some of the best-known films of all time. TIFF Kids is family films from around the world that are entertaining and illuminating and speak to a wide range of audience goers. But TIFF Kids is really for audiences from 8 to 80. There's something for everyone and I think for many families it's a great entry point into the festival. The Midnight Madness program should be self-explanatory. These are crazy wild films which play at midnight. For every night of the film festival, we have some wild, weird, crazy film from around the world. The typical Midnight Madness audience member, someone who enjoys film, but enjoys the experience of seeing films with an audience, but also has an appreciation for world cinema. What distinguishes the Mavericks program is there's always a live guest and conversation happening. Over the years we've had Bill Gates, we've had Bruce Springsteen. The audiences who come to Mavericks are people who want a one-of-a-kind experience. You're getting to be in the room with really, you know, some of the world's most fascinating people. So the Shortcuts Canada program is a showcase of this year's outstanding films uh, from Canadian filmmakers. It's kind of the safe haven for Canadian film. Uh, we have, uh, for since the beginning of the festival, kept the Shorts program as Canadian. Any age, any, any background, there's always something for someone in our programs because we showcase uh, a great selection of films in every program that we screen. Special presentations films are high profile premieres, often world premieres of films from some of the major filmmakers from all over the world. You can find anything from big Hollywood premieres there to some of the major European or Asian or Latin American filmmakers. High profile films with really big name filmmakers. The Wavelength section at the festival is where we define experimental and avant-garde cinema. It's a forum for visual artists working in film and video, as well as the traditional experimental cinema. But this year we've extended it to incorporate feature-length films that are also experimenting, and we're including innovative documentaries as well. It's a point of experimentation for the audience as well. So for those who only go to the cinema during the festival, I think it's a really great opportunity for them to try to find something new. The Discovery Program is a place where we show discoveries. These are first-time filmmakers who have made work of extraordinary quality. I like to think everybody will go see films in that program. However, I think it's people who are curious. I think it's people who um, have a, a drive to see new things and to understand what's going on in the world in a very contemporary way. The Vanguard Program, well that's where you're going to find films that are 
provocative, dangerous, edgy, sexy. These are films which sometimes cross over between genre and art house, but are still sophisticated. These are titles for an audience that's savvy to world cinema, but also wants their films to be challenging, dangerous, and sometimes a little sexy. The galas are where you find the biggest red carpet stars of the festival. It's where you'll find Brad Pitt and George Clooney and Penelope Cruz and Shah Rukh Khan and people like that. We love uh, our fans to come out and just really experience the excitement of having the biggest stars in the world in Toronto.